Hi there, Sage here from Growth Friday. Hope you're doing well. I just wanted to put this video together as an introduction to your scheduled strategy call with Daniel Harmon, the founder of Growth Friday, for tomorrow, and just kind of walk you through what he's going to be covering on that call, just so you have a visual understanding and uh, you can kind of compare with two of the direct competitors that I have pulled up for you. So those include Marymount and Sacred Heart School's Atherton. So this is a school near San Jose. Um, but they have similar keywords that they're ranking for, and their their traffic is kind of comparable to what you're acquiring right now. So for Flint Ridge Sacred Heart, the last 30 days, you've had 4,300 organic searches to the website, which is pretty good. That's a substantial amount of traffic. But for Marymount, they've had a little bit more. Uh, they have about 12,000. And then for the other school, uh, Sacred Heart Atherton, they're doing about 4,700. So uh, they actually dropped significantly in the last year. They were sitting at about 18, fluctuating. But the way that they're able to do that is by optimizing particular landing pages on their website. So if we go back into your your current site and we look at the rankings for keywords, we can see that about 44% of the overall website traffic, you can see here 44% is coming from this phrase being searched on Google. So this is what we call a branded search. So what that means is just that people are finding your, your website. The majority of traffic that is coming to the site is being found through this phrase. So they're searching for the name of the school. We want to increase the number of non-branded searches. So the way that we're able to do that is by optimizing landing pages on the site, uh, whether it may be in the curriculum or in the athletics, um, optimizing these landing pages for specific keywords that have relevance to the context of this page. That is what's going to help rank and drive your positions to the top 10. So you can see this is the positions on Google and it goes down in order. Uh, but we want to acquire the the high volume and low difficulty phrases. So this is monthly traffic on average. So 480, that's pretty good traffic. If you're ranking number one for one specific phrase, that means that you can kind of capitalize on this monthly traffic. And, you know, same thing applies for any other key phrase that we're targeting. So the goal is to get as many key phrases in the campaign ranking in the top 10 so that they're on the first page of Google. Right now, the website is ranking for about 1,800 keywords. But if I filter this uh, by greatest to least, you can see there's a bunch here. They have really good volume, but they're not ranking in the first the top 10. So we, we wanna select specific keywords and even do keyword research based off of your competitors see what they're ranking for in order to increase your traffic overall. A lot of their traffic as well is coming from, you know, Marymount High School because it's a very well-known school for, it's an all-Catholic as well, all-Catholic girls' school. Um, but it's a very, uh, they, they've they built a brand, so a lot of people just know them by Marymount. But they're also getting, you can see, uh, 13 14% is non-branded searches. If we go into you know, Sacred Heart Schools, they're doing about 35% non-branded. So this is why it's very important. Most of their keywords are non-branded searches. They have 44 out of their nearly 2,000 that are non-branded. So that means that people are finding them by the services or the curriculum, the sports teams, whatever it may be that the school is offering. Uh, that doesn't incorporate the name of it, that's how people are finding them. So that creates a high quality student that can be directed towards the website and they can, you know, apply, contact you, whatever it may be. Uh, another strategy that we include in our, in our plans is backlinks. So right now, Flint Ridge Sacred Heart, if we go into their domain overview, we can see how many backlinks you, you've acquired. So about 748 
referring domains. What that means is that 748 different websites are linking your website and giving you that, that link so that whoever is visiting, let's say there's a highly reputable blog article, they can click on that link and it'll take them directly to your website. Now that gives you an authority from Google's perspective, but sometimes these referring domains are not the highest quality. So what we do is we filter through the ones that are kind of that have some toxicity to them. We get rid of them and then we acquire high quality backlinks. That's going to also add authority, build up this authority score. As you can see, it's a 38. Your competitor Marymount has a 40 and 44. So this is also another component to SEO. You have keyword optimization, you have backlinks and you have blog content. I don't think there is a blog page currently on the website. I may have missed it, but blogs are extremely important in adding more content to the site, giving your expertise on the industry that you're in, and kind of just grabbing the audience's attention and just giving them more information if they have a question on a particular subject. So hope this helps. Daniel looks forward to talking to you. He'll be covering all of this in more detail, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what we're going to be talking about. Thank you. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.